favorite pudding caramel pudding this is the easiest to make and the first pudding that anyone when they start to learn makes so come let's get making this caramel pudding so to make this caramel pudding the ingredients are very basic you need 3 large eggs 390 grams of condensed milk about 4 tablespoons of sugar 2.5 tablespoons of just plain water that is this is to make the caramel and we also need 390 grams of water so that is if you use a small condensed milk tin that is 390 grams so we need one tin of that and water to the same amount so 390 grams of water then we will need a mixing bowl to mix everything and I am going to set the caramel pudding in this uh, dish so this is a pyrex dish so it is safe for the oven and for heat and you will need a saucepan to caramelize the sugar and you need a whisk a spatula and an aluminium foil to cover our uh, dish so that we can set this in the steamer or even in the oven so our first step is to make the sugar caramel so let's get that started so we need a very low to medium flame to caramelize the sugar now there is four tablespoons of white sugar add that in and two and a half tablespoons of water don't stir just swirl the pan and let this come to a caramelizing effect so once the sugar starts to boil just swirl the pan and make sure it dissolves and the caramel turns the sugar turns the caramel color we want the sugar is now getting caramelized it has to turn that golden dark brown and then we can pour this to a setting dish just few more seconds and we will get the desired color just another couple of seconds and we will get that beautiful dark golden brown now remove the pan from the stove and switch it off this is the color we need so our caramel is done pour that into a setting dish now swirl it a bit so that the caramel goes to all the sides now let this set and we can make the custard now to make the custard we need a bowl three large eggs add that in Three hundred ninety grams of condensed milk. Three hundred and ninety grams of water. So now let's mix everything well. So there is 3 eggs, 390 grams of condensed milk, 390 grams of water as well, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, mix well. Now we need to strain this to the dish that we are going to make the caramel pudding in. See our caramel sugar layer is set 
Now, let's pour this egg mix into this, we'll strain it. Now let's cover this with an aluminium foil before we place this in the steamer. So I'm going to make this caramel pudding in a steamer. You can also do it in the oven 180 degrees C for 40 to 45 minutes. In a steamer it would be about 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm going to place a caramel so place it in the steamer. Now we need to cover it. Make sure the aluminium foil is well covered so that water doesn't go in. And let this steam. So it's been 40 minutes. Let's open and see. See our pudding is done. So our caramel pudding is now done. Once it cools down completely, put this in the refrigerator overnight and then we can demold it the next day. So I've taken the caramel pudding out of the fridge. Now it's set well using a knife. Just Press down on the side so that it will be easy when we flip it. Just on the sides. A sim easy. Don't put too much pressure. Just easy. Just right now. Use using a large dish. Place it, and now we need to flip it carefully because there's liquid so let's flip so our caramel pudding is done this is very easy and this is one of the basic first puddings that anyone learns when they're learning to cook it's easy to make only trick is not to get the the sugar, uh, the caramelizing that while it's for it to get bitter. So if you follow my steps, you can easily make a superb caramel pudding and you can serve this on a, uh, for a dinner party or for yourself even. So try this out and let me know how you liked it in the comment section below. So until I see you guys next time with yet another video, this is your week signing off. Thank you so much. Bye.